hearing, uh, the Committee on Cultural Affairs, Libraries, and International Intergroup Relations is now in session. My name is Jimmy Van Bramer, and I am proud to be chair of this committee. Today, our committee will be holding a vote on proposed introduction 1451A, sponsored by Council Member Cabrera, a proposed law related to the creation of a task force regarding a museum about New York City's African American civil rights history. Uh, we've heard uh, a lot about this important piece of legislation in a prior hearing, and today I'm really proud that we're holding a vote on it. I know Councilmember Cabrera cares a great deal about this issue, this bill, and has done a lot of work on it, so I'd like to ask him uh, to say a few words about this important piece of legislation. And I want to thank him, uh, take a moment, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, for uh, your help and leadership. Uh, especially in the last hearing, uh, you were so just up in front, uh, and as well to all my colleagues uh, who were present as well. And, uh, and so to get straight to the bill, uh, the bill will create a task force to consider the establishment of, of an African American Civil Rights History Museum in New York City. New York City's African American Civil Rights History is another untold story. New York City was the nexus of civil rights in the North that preceded and helped spark what is known as the Civil Rights Movement, which lar largely took place in the South from 1955 through 1950s. Through the 1950s, New York City rights activism was fueled by the great migration of African Americans from the South to large northern cities and whose large presence called attention to segregation and other injustices. The New York City rights agenda and, and address exclusionary housing practices, discrimination and segregation in employment and representation in government. This activism transformed the, law, the labor movement in New York to include civil rights. The proposed museum will reveal the activism of African American New Yorkers, which includes Adam Clayton Powell, uh, Ossie Davis, Paul Robinson, Stance Baker Motley, Julius Archibald, and the first ac African American member of the New York Senate, and Betsy Buchanan, first African American museum elected to the assembly, both who won their Brooklyn districts on civil rights platforms in the 1950. I would like to thank uh, committee staff members, Brenda McKinney and Christy Dyer, Dwyer for their work on this bill. Thank you for the favorable consideration of this legislation. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, uh, Councilmember Cabrera, and congratulations. Uh, I want to recognize all the members of the committee who are here, which includes the entire committee, Councilmember Francisco Moya, Councilmember Mark Jonai, Councilmember Joe Borelli, and uh, Majority Leader Lori Cumbo. Do you want to say a few words? Thank you so much, Chair, and I also want to thank uh, Councilmember Cabrera for this groundbreaking legislation and just very pleased to speak on this issue as it is Black History Month. I can think of no other time uh, to certainly bring this forward and to have the cultural committee here today, but also to really bring attention to the fact that New York City has the largest population of African Americans anywhere in the United States. And it's important that we recognize this incredible culture and the contributions that African Americans have made here in New York, um, but also throughout the entire nation. And so much of what we uh, recognize in terms of American culture is rooted and based in African American culture. And so it is imperative that we um, educate our children, but also educate the world about our historical contributions. And if we also look at Washington, D.C., at the National African American uh, History and Arts and Cultural Museum there, we also see how successful that has been in Washington, D.C. And if we only want to look at uh, population served as well as the economics behind that, it's certainly prudent for any city to take on uh, an institution of this caliber and scale. But if we look at more deeply the educational and the spiritual upliftment that a museum has the ability to provide people, um, it's imperative that we do this now and it's imperative that we bring this forward at this particular time. So I thank Council Members Van Bramer um, as well as Council Member Cabrera for your incredible work on this. And this is really revolutionary and extraordinary and it's certainly an, an idea whose time has come. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and I want to once again thank all the staff, including my staff, uh, Matt Wallace, my chief of staff, Jack Bernadovitz, uh, my legislative director, uh, Brenda McKinney, our legislative policy analyst, Christy Dwyer, and principal finance, finance analyst, Alia Ali, also here today. Thank you again to Councilmember Cabrera uh, for bringing this very important issue to light. And uh, it will one day make our cultural uh, world in the city of New York more complete, uh, because it is incomplete unless this museum exists. So with that, I'll ask uh, Billy Martin to call the roll. Introduction 1451A, Chair Van Bramer. I vote yes. Combo. I probably vote, vote yes. Jonai. Aye. Moya. Aye. Borelli. Aye. I vote a five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Congratulations. And with that, we are adjourned.